Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. In the last part, we just got this nice blue mail, matches our uh, flippers well. And we are going to swim our way eh, to one of these bottom rooms because, well, we have access to them now. Nice. Uh, what is it? Demos up here? So. Oh, come on, you turned around. So we'll pull this one switch active. I guess the other switch probably just... Let's check. Oh, did nothing, I guess. With our double defense, we should have a better chance. Is right. Oh, it gives us six snakes. I, I don't feel like fighting any snakes today, so... On the bright side, the Vemos does apparently just kill them really easily. We'll head back this way, and with the lowered water level, a lot of things have changed. It's a very different layout now. One of which, I'm gonna step on this, open up that door right quick. Because now we should be able to get back once we raise the water level to that second area. And you can see there's a nice platform for when we raise it all the way up to three, we can get that chest. So, can't actually get to the wall, but if we hook shot here, it keeps us on that wall long enough, we can follow it. And get over to here. Get to our place, and we can actually raise this to the third height now. Alright, at that point, let's switch these two. You two swap, and you go off for the lantern, because I keep dropping bombs when I definitely do not mean to. So, we're up to the next height, and if you take a look at them, you can see this arrow is pointing up, so it's raised the water level, and the other one's pointing down, so it's lower the water level. I usually don't notice that when I'm paying attention, to be entirely honest, yeah. I, I don't notice it. Alright, one dead. Nope. So we can now just cross over here and get a small key, so we needed to do that. There's lots of small keys in this area. But I think there's no other places we can even go while the water is this high. So let's lower it one. By aiming in the correct direction, anyways. We'll drop down a height, and now we have like two different ways we can actually leave this area. But I'll take this one for now. Still, oh wait, now we can actually reach this fire chest. However, getting up onto the platform is a little more difficult. Can we put it up with that? We can. So, if you have the, um, well, wind staff or whatever it's called, tornado rod, you can just put out the water and be dead. We'll swim through this one now. If these have been raised, they're a little more useful compared to how they were before. Still can't do much, but with them, we can pick up more monster guts. I think we're pretty much done everything important in this dungeon. Uh, we just gotta get to the boss now. Which uh, feels like it'll be on that first floor, but I want to just double check. Yeah, there is still a door down there that we can unlock. Actually, I think I'm gonna go do that through the right way to do it. Because we only have the one key. If we did unlock that door, we couldn't get to the bottom right. Um, even though there is a key over. Oh, come on, give me some hearts. I need some hearts. Stop this beeping. Set it for the beeping. Alright, so we can head back over here. With the water raised as it is, we can get to this chest, which is the last of the small keys. Go ahead. But, we'll drop down here. This is the one we've already opened. So, come on here, it's the central water level raising area. Um, we'll break. 
Now, you know what? What happens if I, I blow you? Alright, nothing happens if I win you. Ha! Now you're just a... A worm. In the water. So we're gonna take advantage of this. We're gonna raise all the water basically straight up to the top. Because uh, we can see that's how we're gonna get to the next area. And if we had that other key already, we could go in through that door, but we shouldn't need it. So we might just keep the small key and not bother opening that door. What happens if I just kind of... bump? Nothing. Alright. Hardest boss fight ever. And that turns on the water here, which actually pushes uh, a beautiful roof for us. But we can also head under this, and here is a fairy restock station. For us, it's just a nice heal. Um, but if you didn't have your four fairies that I'm currently carrying, it's a perfect place to get one of those. So, there, we can raise the water level one more time, and finish up. I do like that they put little, like, um, hookshot symbols on each point you can, you can use for the water area. But we'll raise it up to the top, and let's swim out the exit. Oh, never mind. Ah, oh, it's blocked by that button. All right, lowering the water level twice. But we should be able to swim straight to the button then. I feel kind of silly that we raised it all the way up when, yeah, we needed to lower it. Door is now open, and we can head straight to the boss. Well, once we... can get there, I guess. Take the raised water level, and swim over, and let's get to the top. I'm glad this dungeon went pretty smoothly. It's not one that I normally do have trouble with, so that's one thing. And you always get the blue mail, so it's a great place to go, even early game. The only downside is it makes getting to it a little more difficult. Uh, between the... you have to pay 200 rupees to get the bomb unlocked, and uh, having to actually go back all the way to it. So. Oh look, there's a switch over here. Just brings the floor up high enough. And then if you need to, you can always lower the water level and continue the exploration. But I think we're good, so let's open up the door and fight. What's his name? Oh. Yeah, you can always... You can hookshot him to steal his eyes, and then your sword can kill them. If you already have the max upgraded sword, this guy is a joke. Uh, just because of how much damage you do. You see it's only taking two hits for each of these. Uh, that becomes one hit. Which... Already not the worst thing in the world. But... All that's left is himself now, and we enter the real phase of the fight. Okay, that's... <laughs> oh, you were standing in the middle at the end? Well, that means you're injured automatically. Yeah. Can 
can only shoot with small lasers, so not much it can do against you as long as you're really keeping up movement. That, I mean, it's, you're in more risk of getting hit by its belly flops than anything else. Just be careful from your sword knockback doesn't knock you back into those explosions. But there, he goes down. He was by far the easiest boss so far, and it doesn't help that he gives you boosted defense and you can get an upgraded sword. Heck, you can probably do both sword upgrades before actually having to fight him. Alright, so we can pick up our heart, and there's a new path to continue. So, maximum heart containers increased by one. I think that's the last of that first row. But, there it is. The Zora Princess. Or Zora Queen, whichever one it wound up being. So, you can see it's not directly linked with the other ones. But it did give us an upgraded um, armor, so it makes more sense. Once more, you have come to my rescue, Link. How I wish I could again reward you, but only offer gratitude. Together we can defeat this great evil, all seven sages. So we still have three more to go. Uh, we're going to basically go straight into the next one pretty shortly after this. Um, we won't do it this part. Instead, Let's watch Hilda talk to Zelda some more. Oh, lovely Zelda, can you begin to comprehend how lucky you are? Such legends, such heroes. We had legends, we had heroes. The rule had hope. But all that is gone. Low rule has only me now, and your hero, of course. And if the hero pyro fails me? Oh, but I must have courage. He will succeed, or all is lost. So... Hilda seems to be wanting us to get courage. Uh, for the next place, let's, I say we head towards the Dark Palace. Because um, all, all three of them are off far right, so I think... Oh, we never got a path there. Alright, let, let's walk up to a vacant house and transport back. I forgot we didn't pick up a location, like a um, teleport point in the Dark Palace area. Good enough. So we're back to our house, this is why I didn't fly, it's it was one screen up. Okay. And we're likewise we're not gonna fly to get to the dark palace area either. Um, we're only gonna basically get straight there because there is that metal gear solid section right at the beginning of it again. And as such, I'm actually gonna go in through a portal that I forgot existed. Uh, and found again when we were Maya Mai, right here. Back of this pillar. And we have entered the Dark Palace area again. It still takes two hits to kill these guys. It's a little unfortunate there. But when we upgrade our sword again, it should be good. It should only take one hit. But let's enter the Dark Palace area from here. No cutscene, we saw that in the Maya Mai section. But merge here and la 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 la. Do not attack these guys from behind, even though, like, it would make a lot of sense to just go like, and you're dead. Ah, that still alerts the guards, because, I mean, you literally kill the guard. These guys you can attack, they don't have the red eyes, so they'll be fine. Um, I was gonna say, merge into the wall, please! Because I want to do this nice and quick. get some rupees if you go down there, but I don't recommend it. I say as I drop down there. I like these soldiers. They're, you don't actually ever get to fight them, I don't think. Oh, but you can run into their back, apparently. But they always throw you into a door that they can't open. It's interesting, that respect. You really should have been able to see me right there. I know you're the one who caught me already once, but you really should have been able to see me there. It reminds me of, like, in our of time, the uh, castle courtyard area. Alright, so we passed through here. We're now in a new, um, great, I mean, new prison area if we get caught. Uh, 
I was really hoping to get merged into the wall right before then. Alright. Oh, we're not in a new prison area. I thought that line was the dividing line for the new prison. Uh, well, we'll call this part here. Uh, when we get back, we'll be back to that area where there's that pathway you can't wall mix into, and I'll see you guys there.